and girls, welcome back to Kids Church Online. Hey, Auntie Kami. Hey, Shishi. How are you doing? I am super good. Oh, man. I had to miss you. you so, so much. Boys and girls, it had been a long time. time. I know, right? What have you been up to? I've been cooking all over the world, Auntie Kamu. Oh, man. It's been so amazing. Okay, tell us just one place you were cooking at. Uh, I went to Belarus the other time. I had to cook an entire octopus. Uh, uh, sorry, you cooked a what? An octopus. Uh, it was so amazing. Boys and girls, would you eat an octopus? I wouldn't. Never. What? An octopus? That, okay, chef. That makes me. sense because a lot of people were rushing out to the bathroom <laughs> after <laughs> eating it. Oh, chef, Shiri, that's not nice. What did you put in the octopus? Soup. And H links, right? <laughs> well, then, girls, let's start, and we're gonna have a great time today. I want you to take off your pajamas mm -hmm. if you are still in your pajamas, and wash your face. And join us in just a few minutes. We'll be right minutes. back. Yeah. Boys and girls, it's time for the exciting time of the service. What time is it, Shashi? It's time for Inyasha to win a game. Uh, what time is it, Shashi? It's time for Inyasha to win a game. Okay, one last time. Shashi, what time is it? I said it's time for Inyasha to win a game. All right, Yay. boys and girls, you heard it. It's time for Inyasha to win a game. So we're going to play a really cool game, okay? And these two sisters are going to battle it out. Now, before we get there, if you want to join us on set, I want you to get a hold of Uncle Gift and you can join us next time here and battle it out with the boys and girls. All right, so the game for today is we're gonna put ping pong balls here and ping pong balls there. And the person who can balance the most ping pong balls is going to be the winner. Shen Shiri, who's gonna win? Ah. Uh. Ah, now I'm not so sure anymore, Auntie Kamu. Oh, come on, Chef Shiri. You were so confident just a few moments ago. Chef Shiri, who's got away? This game looks super hard. Oh, man. Boys and girls, I want you to tell me who do you think is going to win? In your shop, who's going to win? Mm. You. Exactly. Yasha, Yasha says she's going to win. Alana, who's going to win? What? <laughs> she says she's gonna win. All right, boys and girls. So, Auntie Gamu, is this a battle? It's a battle. Oh. Battle between the sisters. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start putting the ping pong balls. All right, ready, ladies? Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. All right, boys and girls. This is the first ball on the net. Oh boy. They must balance. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. oh. Okay, we have to get to the end of it. And we'll see how many balls they drop. Inyash has dropped one ball. Alana is still struggling with just one ball. Ball number two. Come Woo! on, Inyasha. Come okay, on, Inyasha. Right. Okay. How's it going, girl? How's it going? Let's 
Chelsea, 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 Chelsea,
So that very night, the Israelites left. They didn't know which way to go or where they were headed, but God had promised them something. He said, I will show you a new way, a new land, and a new home. So, to help them out, God sent a huge cloud for the Israelites to follow. A cloud and a pillar of smoke stretched up to the sky. During the day, the cloud shaded them from the heat in the desert, and at night it glowed with warmth to keep them safe and warm while they slept. When it was time to move, the cloud moved in front of them, and when it was time to rest, the cloud stopped. The Israelites walked and walked and walked until God led his people through the desert to the edge of a great sea. They were wondering, how will we cross the water? When suddenly they heard the sound of thundering and pounding. It sounded like horse hooves. Pharaoh had changed his mind again. He wanted the Israelites back. And now Pharaoh's army was chasing after the Israelites. The Israelites didn't know what to do. They were stuck with a giant sea in front of them and an army behind them, and it was coming fast. They panicked. The water was too deep to walk through and too far and long to swim through. They didn't have boats or horses, and the soldiers were getting closer and closer and closer. But Moses told them, God will make a way for us to escape. And then something strange happened, something they had never seen before. The cloud moved behind the people and hid them from the Egyptians. God told Moses to raise his hands and his staff, and God sent a strong wind to blow on the water. The wind blew all night long. It blew some of the water to the left and some to the right until there were two towering walls of water and right in the middle was dry land. The Israelites took a step and another step and another step until all of the Israelites had walked right through, right where all those enormous waves had been. God had rescued the Israelites again and it wouldn't be the last time he did that. God would save them again, once and for all. But that comes later. And I can't wait for you to hear that story. Gee, Auntie Gamu, did you see, see that? Oh, God. God. That was awesome. All those locusts. Do you know that I could have rusted those locusts and... <laughs> Shashi, why do you want to put all these weird things? Come on. They do test nice, though. Octopus? Locust? Have you ever had an octopus or locust poison girls? <laughs> alright, alright. I okay. wouldn't try it if it was you. I understand. But Shishi, did you see that God fought the battle for the Israelites? But, but I thought God was gonna come down from heaven and, you know, show his muscles and punch, punch Pharaoh and Egyptians and bish, bish. He didn't do that. He was there. He was there the whole time. Sometimes we think that God isn't there, but he was right there. Even in the story, we learned he was a pillar of fire at night mm -hmm. and a cloud that lit them by the day. Today, we don't need a pillar of cloud or smoke to lead us. We have God and we have Jesus Christ right in here hearts. in our hearts. Oh, yeah. So, Shishi, the lesson for today is that you need to know that God will always lead you in a triumphant victory. And I want to share with you the memory verse for today. It's right here. Ooh. Boys and girls, I hope you can see this. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse this 14. And it says, he leads us in a triumphant victory in Christ. So, God leads us in triumphant victory in Christ. Christ. So as long as you're in Christ, you're going to be winning, so, winning, So Auntie winning. Kamu, how do I stay in Christ? Like, have you ever prayed the prayer to receive Christ and make him your Lord and Savior, Chef Ah, uh, uh, I remember the last recipe that I read. Recipe? Uh, Did it have Jesus inside it? Uh, 
Tikamu. <laughs> I don't think I've prayed that prayer before. So, Chef Sherry, if you want to be a victor, yes. you want God to fight your battles mm -hmm. for you, do you know what you can do, boys and girls? And you just have to ask him to forgive your sins and you will be a victor just like Christ. Auntie Gamo, I would so want to be a victor just like Christ. Can I also pray that prayer now? Yes, boys and girls, I want you to join us. And even if you've had, if you've received Jesus Christ in your heart, I want you to put your hand on your heart. Chef, you put your hand on your heart. Mm -hmm. That's great. And let's pray this prayer together. All right. Are you ready, Chef? I'm Shibu? ready, Auntie Gamu. Are you ready, boys and girls? Yes. Let's pray. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For this day. For this day. Thank you. Thank you. For this lesson. For this lesson. That has taught me. That has taught me. About being a victor. About being a victor. Jesus. Jesus. I want you. I want you. To come into my life. To come into my life. And fight my battles. And fight my battles. I ask that you forgive me. I ask that you forgive me. Of any sins. Of any sins. That I have done. That I have done. Make me clean. Make me clean. And help me. And help me. To live my life. To live my life. For you. For you. Thank you. Thank you. That you will always fight my battles. That you will always fight my battles. For me. For me. In Jesus' name I pray. 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 All the same Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Auntie Gamu. I feel so much stronger now. Right? Oh, man. You feel stronger because we just came from the young and strong. Awesome. Boys and girls, do you know what? If you pray that prayer with us, do you know where Jesus is right now, Shea Shea? It's right here in my heart. It's right here in your heart. And do you know what else, Shea Shea? What? Next time you have a battle or you have a situation that is difficult in front of you, guess who can fight for you? God will fight my battles! God will fight my battles for me! Amen! All right, boys and girls, so you have a good week. But in the meantime, Chef Shi, we need to have us talk about this octopus. Okay, okay, so like I was saying, the thing I put in the pot, and no, then no, I put no, the stove no, no, in no, no, six, no, no, no. and then the water was boiling. Ha! A but, boiler! But, 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 Auntie Gamu, no, 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 we can't eat! We can't eat octopus! We can't eat octopus! Those people I'm, puked! I'm allergic to I'm allergic to octopus. Oh. Actually, do you know what? Everyone is allergic to octopus. Oh. Bye, boys and girls. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>